My content is for 13 and up or adult collections of the product. Welcome to the latest edition of Bay Analysis, where we take a look at Bay's in-depth. I give my thoughts and whether or not this, this is really worth getting. Released November 13th, 2021, we'll be taking a look at Greatest Raphael. Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on. Comment your thoughts if there's any combinations you like with Raphael, or if there's any thoughts you have on any of the parts or combos you like to use with it. Let me know in the comments. With that being said, we're going to get started. So we have our lair, which is Greatest Raphael. Now this is based on the Archangel from Christian mythology. Raphael's shape is pretty circular. It has about six spikes in total on the lair, three on each side. And this is what we actually call attack mode. Now with a strong shoot, uh, actually what happens, thanks to the overdrive system, basically raises up and creates a sort of halo effect. Now this halo is created once you do that strong shoot and near the end of the battle, once your spin it depletes by a bit, going from attack mode to defense mode. The difference is the shape is now a lot more circular. The wings are now raised up. And I guess you could, say you have centralized weight now because of how the wings are pushed to the center. I don't really think the wings per se do, but I do think the gimmick does work for what it is. Also to mention, there is actually metal burst stoppers. So these stoppers are, are, are a cool idea. The issue is that it doesn't take much force to burst it. And when I say it doesn't take much, I mean, it does not take much. Now, now the other thing I want to mention too is that with the actual stoppers, the idea is that at the start it is inside and then after near the end of the battle as it's transitioning right to, to the end, it becomes more pushed out for it to actually work. But either way, it, it, it's something I, I, I don't really care too much about. I don't really think it works as a stopper gimmick. It's, it's just whatever. Another thing to mention actually is that the teeth on the lair are just kind of okay. They are just kind of basic and obviously with Dash 2 with how the teeth are, they will get kind of clapped after a bit and Burst Whisk can always be kind of a, a worry if it's like same spin stuff. But generally for the matchups you'll be using this in, which primarily we're going to be focusing on stamina and I guess technically balance. Uh, we will be taking a look at it. In same spin, if you put it up against Dynamite Dragon over Bearing Dash 9, uh, with Raphael having over Bearing Dash, in same spin, for an example, in the DB Stadium, it gets hard clapped by Dragon. Now, the reason for this is because Raphael's lair is very light compared to the average combination you will see in Dynamite Battle. Because of that, it makes it very hard for a same spin to compete with anything when all the other stuffs are way heavier than it. To give a reference point, something like Vanish Longinus 9 is about 36.69. This dragon combination with F Gear 9 is about 32.77. And Raphael's about 30 grams. And when the gap is like that, it's not exactly the easiest to compete with them. The other ones also just generally have insane spin, just higher stamina than Raphael. Did they try to make Raphael heavy by putting metal weighting on it? But that does not really help it that much. Also, yeah, high extent plus dash is about 9.32. We're not gonna really talk about over. We're only talking about new parts that came in this release. So we will be skipping over it. Ha! Now it's talking its performance in the DB Stadium. Opposite spin is actually where it soars up to the skies and claims that W because it just does very, very well for opposite spin equalization. If we do the combination which Vanish Longinus 9 over Bearing Dash, it claps. It really, really claps. Now specifically in DB, 
bearing dash kind of destabilizes and dies because uh, of the deeper dish. It's not as effective as let's say in the standard. It still kind of works, but Raphael generally keeps most of its balance against left stuff. So for the most part, you should be OSing left stuff. Otherwise, maybe you can still get the draws, but in DB, uh, same it's clapped. Opposite, it's pretty good. Now for the lair in the standard type stadium, um, well, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, it still sucks, same spin, really bad. However, uh, opposite spin is where you'll notice it is a little bit closer. You will get those draws and sometimes it can lean towards the other one or sometimes Raphael, but generally consistency, it should still do well enough against lefts in the combinations I just mentioned. Uh, not only that, but a personal favorite combo I love to use with is actually Nexus Plus S with Mobius. Now, this is where I feel Raphael goes to kind of its full potential while it's still possible to draw. Uh, generally, I would say that this is pretty effective in equalization and winning. So it's something I recommend that is very solid to use. And as far as that goes for same and opposite, I think that's where we have to now get into high extend plus dash that helped remove the scrape risk because it is a taller version of extend plus and I'll, I'll explain, but this is good because for DB stuff, the shorter stuff uh, will generally scrape. So usually high variance will help quite a bit and make them have a lot more use. So with high extend plus dash uh, to talk about, so really in the DB stadium an opposite spin, uh, it does lean towards high extend plus dash for the issue I've already mentioned before. So that makes the driver definitely a solid pick to use that's in the DB stadium. You don't really need to use the other modes with it. I'll mention the other modes in a second. There are three modes to it, by the way. There is stamina mode, which is the best mode. There is defense mode, where sometimes you can use it. And attack mode, where you never use it. Don't use it, I'm serious. Worst mode ever, TT. Why'd you make that mode? And same spin is where it can kind of get close, but generally speaking, in the way, this is a driver that's very good in the Dynamite Battle Stadium, and it's something I recommend. It's still possible to lose to a bearing dash, right? Because bearing varies with copy to copy, but generally it leans towards that. Now, in terms of same spin in the standard stadium, it, it, it's got a pretty good advantage. It, it, it generally should have a pretty high win rate. If you are in a same spin matchup, I would probably say you have a very good chance unless you just don't balance tune it. Opposites where it can kind of get close and you may get pretty clapped. However, while stamina, it's not the easiest to win. If you do switch it to defense mode, which by the way, shout out to Think for the WBO for actually this information, you, you have a pretty good chance actually of winning. In defense mode, the equalization should be in your favor for that round shape. Uh, either way, solo driver to use. And I think wrapping up with the main part selection and my final thoughts. So while Raphael might not be the greatest release, I still think this is a very solid release for what you get. It still has something to offer, whether it be DB or standard. The layer has something there in opposite spin. And honestly, the high extend plus dash, th this driver is a must have to use for competitive combinations. If you aren't using it, I will question that unless you just don't have it. But if you ever see this release, I say it's a worthy pickup and what a good segue, because we have a store where we have Greatest Raphael right there. So if you want to pick it up, hey, you want to know what? What an opportunity. Hey, oh, oh my, what's this? But also, there's other stuff that we have on our store, like other deals and bundles. Now, it's an optional way to support the channel. And that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy. It's a very big departure from the usual videos we do on this channel. Big thank you to Kiyo slash Mo from the WBO for any additional information and help, as well as Think from the WBO for any help. Uh, I guess support the WBO, link in the descriptions below for that. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, have an awesome and amazing day. And bye.